Hello everyone, and welcome back to Romance of the Three Kingdoms. So for the past two battles, I enjoyed some great victories with Cao Cao Sharina and the Wei army. However, this time around, I got thrusted into the Wu army. And what's worse, the Wu army that took the abuse of Liu Bei's alliance sitting down. So basically, our wonderful friends at Shu decides to go and... Uh, kind of take take over everything and just keep the territories that they have taken from us and now we're in a very bad spot so how do we turn things around well let's see so our allies are very ungrateful so now it's the time to go and launch a counter-attack and push them back so let's go and attack this area this hotly contested area of Fan Castle protected by Grima once we take that, we should be able to go and spread our influence in the surrounding areas. So I've devised a team to deal with this terrain, as I have investigated it before. So in this map, there's the main castle here, the river, a couple camps in the surrounding areas. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to use King Michaelis of Macedon's uh, Macedonian Air Force. So we're going to go and... Use all of our points because I have faith in King Michaelis to take care of this. Alright, let's see. First things first. So in this battle, we had to deal with the Reinhardt. So we have to be really careful about his movements. Fortunately, there are a couple units that can take care of such a thing. Now, let's see. First things first. Let's arrange our bomber squadrons. So I've arranged a couple bombers to help out King Michaelis of Macedon. And Scuttleless, being that he for some reason has res ploy on his Eastern Standard Time, is a perfect ally for such a thing. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to just get wonderful Azura and my bomber units in a formation. And they'll be protected by Eastern Standard Time. And her primary task is to just sit over here and shoot resploy at all the people in the home base over here. As soon as they spawn, they'll get some resploys. So meanwhile, the forces under King Michaelis and his wonderful sister and the White Wings will distract the enemies, chop them down, and as they get respawned, they'll be bombed to oblivion by the bomber squadron. So that's the plan for today's action. Now, let us deploy. Stay strong. Let's stay Beautiful. strong by moving over here. Fun! Fun! Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Now, we have to tank the Reinhardt. We also have to tank Tharga, so we'll just put... Flying Nino over here. Flying Nino has Burkut's Lance, and we we'll be able to tank this quite handily. And we'll support her with Paula yes. and King Michaelis of Macedon, along with wonderful Minerva, who has Ward Flyers. So this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna help. We're gonna help Flying Nino tank a bunch of attacks, and then we will bomb their fortress to death. Now, lands over. Let's go. The Reinhardt versus Flying Nino. This must be. Fate. Nope, must have lands breaker. Well, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Zero magic is zero. Is Apparently, magic is not everything because he could not do anything to flying Nino. Now, flying Nino must punish this Reinhardt in the name of the moon. But perhaps we have other people who do this too, such as King Michaelis of Macedon. Of course, we also have another issue coming in. We have Puri attempting to raid one of our bases. So what shall we do? Shall we provide bomber support? Yes. Well, if we could, oh, anyway. So hmm, so hot. Let me think. Well, we can certainly bomb Robin as we advance forward. I suppose that's what we're going to have to yes. do. Let's go and bomb Robin to death. Hmm. Yeah, I'll leave Bubasaurus Rex down here. We'll just move our formation a little tiny bit forward. I hope your new year is full of wonder, especially in summer. 
All right, we're gonna attack Robin from behind. They will never notice through the wall that Corrin has appeared. <laughs> <Whoop -boom. laughs> and so ends Robin Grima. All right, so let's see. The enemy forces here are still considerably strong. We have to worry about Shurshi, who can do chunks of damage. She'll literally chunk. She'll literally chunk flying Nino to death. So we have to be careful with that. We also have to yes. deal with Purry. Oh my god, really? <laughs> Purry is like blue, and you, this merciless Paula, just goes up there and slaughters Purry? Should I just let that happen? I mean, it does yes. cost her a little bit of health, but she might be able to tank. Well, sure, she hits pretty hard. I don't know. I'm a little worried. Pretty hard. Let me think. Understood. Well, you I have a charge it. handy, but I don't want to use well. it just now. I suppose for now I should focus on keeping the enemy away and attacking the main camp. So, King Michaela of Macedon versus Reinhard. Now, let's see. Well, not much I can do Here at this point. I guess I'll just have to have Paula go and show her stuff. <laughs> Paula versus Puri. Time to play. Ooh. My apologies. Oh, and with an apology, Puri has been defeated. I only wish we have flying healers. That would be really nice because I would really like to heal Paula with her. 55 HP. I mean, like, what's the story yes. with that? <laughs> 55 HP with Panic Ploy. That is the scary, scariest Paula I've ever seen. Alright. Yes. At the very least, let's toss you, you got it. backwards, because Roy is not something you want to face. Onward. And then we're going to leave Minerva here to provide wards. Alright, now let us move on. Oh, I should have parked over here instead. Oh, well, whatever. We'll group the bombers in a second. Hey, that actually can kill. Per I'm sorry. No, I overestimated the weapon triangle. Finishing blow. Now flying Nino strikes down Roy. All right, enemy reinforcements have appeared. Well, Let's see. Yeah, I guess I didn't play that one right. I should have waited a little bit first. Let's see. Don't push me. You got it. Don't push me. Onward. Man, this Shershi is really strong. Holy crap. Uh, 40 dev. Hmm. Yes. Not even Minerva can take her down. And that is actually somewhat concerning. Hmm. In that case, yes. I've got another idea. We'll leave King Michaelis here on the defense. Easy now. While we go Onward. and return back to base for the time being and get ready for another assault. Yes? We'll regroup our bombers Beautiful. here and see okay. what actions the enemy takes in the coming turn. Are waiting for reinforcements? Now that Paula passed away, we have to get we have to get Elinzia to join in on this fight. Uh, Ike uh, versus King Michaelis of Macedon! <laughs> An honor to get smashed in the head with ickness. It's really a pity, though, that unfortunately, unfortunately, it was on the second hit. If it was on the first hit, Ike would have died instantly, and that would have been the end of it. Let's see, let's see. So, off I go. Elincia can join in. Elincia can immediately chop up that Shershi, despite how strong she is. I think I will do that. Hmm. Let's go. Yeah. Chop, chop. And so ends Shershi. Alright. Unfortunately, she cannot move again. I was hoping Gale Force would croc, but... You got uh, it. Such is life. Orders. Let's see. Yes. Hmm. Stay strong. Hmm. Ooh, so hot. Hmm. Spring is sprung. Hmm. We should be able to bomb Robin to death, I think. Maybe. That 68 attack is looking pretty nasty right about now. I'm also a little concerned, though, about this. So, let me think. Hmm. He is on a 
on a respawn point so he can teleport anywhere, which is a problem. So, what I will do is, I'm gonna go and get Ubisaurus Rex moving. One, god damn it. One. Are you serious? One. God damn it. Okay, right, right. Change of plans. We're bombing this thing to death. And then we will simply reunite yes. our flyers for the time being. Stay strong. And we'll leave Eastern Standard Time here to kill off the reinforcements by giving them horrible, horrible, horrible res ploy. Now, Don't push me. King Michaelis of Macedon, <laughs> smash! Ike has been defeated, and now, let's see, Sheet Path is over here with Gravity. Ooh, Gravity is really nasty. That's nasty. Onward. Nasty hit. Alright, so instead, yes. what we could do is. Orders. Get flying in over toss her out. And we'll just wait another turn. Turn four. Alright, new enemy reinforcements have appeared, and this time Eastern Standard Time has affected them. Let's see. Of course. Very well. King Michaelis can do some damage here. Though not the type that I like. Me. Not quite enough. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna leave him here and bait some attacks. While we send yes. out Minerva or Always. Elincia to take care of Jenny. That's what we're gonna be doing. I like to deploy the sheet path Easy over now. Oh, sheet path there. Flying Nino a little more, but hmm, things as they are. Well, I suppose there is another thing I could do. Minerva should be able to. Oh, but no, she'll probably hit Jenny so hard that. Well, then again, she does have some decent defenses, I think. One. Oh no, yes. no, no! She just, just enough help to die instantly. Curses. Orders. Yeah, I wouldn't enter Gale Force with that. Understood. So unfortunately, I have to do of this. Course. Attack! Yeah! yeah! <laughs> what a strange noise. Off I go. Yeah! Oh wait, idea! Whoop! Aha! Idea! Alright, let's go! King Michaela's dear little sister smashes Lucina to death! And now we will have her attack this camp. Or kill Sharina, but let me think. Before we continue onward Spring to that, okay. Eastern Standard Time will obliterate Lilina. Grima needs to take a few seconds to come down because he's fat and slow, though he could also teleport. Well, oh, so hot. Hmm. If only there is some six paths of pain goodness that can Beautiful. weaken him. There's also Secret. Secret is also really tough Good. to bring down. Oh, curses. Spring is sprung. How should I approach this then? Uh, I suppose we should at the very least bomb these people to death. <laughs> so, Ubisoas Rex taking down Nephany. Stay strong. Eastern Standard Time versus Lilina. Huh? Yeah? And so ends Lilina. Okay, okay. Now. Shall we start the retreating process? Orders. Hmm, we should at least hit this yes. camp once, I think. Sharina didn't really do much, so it'll be okay. Now, we'll have to see what where they, these guys decide to go afterwards. Yes. But man, this Grima is really giving me a tough time. Of course. Get you back, get you back. I hope your new year, oh, your new year is full of wonder- Oh wait, aha! Aha! It would appears that I've gained enough charge to blow my load on Robin's face. So how shall I do this? Let's do it in a spot where I don't get attacked. Oh, run. but wait a minute. That might have been bad because now Sigurd can attack my Azura. <sighs> That's actually really distressing now I think about it. Hmm. Beautiful. Well, I like to protect my dancer as much as possible, so... Go! Bubasaurus Rex played it! Spring is 
Bring in the spring! Alright, now that we've taken out our adversary, let's end this turn. Hopefully, Bulbasaur, if I played it, can actually tank the coming attacks. And she can! But against Tharja as well, though, I don't know that that's very likely. Unfortunate. The sprung! <laughs> uh. See, with so many units on the field and them being able to teleport and such. Oh! Consider this an honor! Sharina is an insect! And since they decide not to go and support this base, we're just gonna take it right now. Whoop! And it's not like Bubasaurus Rex is my only bomber. Still, we have a problem. So let's solve this problem by doing this. Meh! 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 This is why I love Corrin's voice. She used to make some weird ass sounds when she attacks. Meh! Alright, attack Seeker! Yeah! And so ends Seeker. Eastern Standard Time. Alright, let's see. There are a couple people who can attack. Fortunately, they. Sh well, then again, I. Uh, Stuck in the same situation as before. Hmm. Let's toss oh flying you know, in there to attack that base because she can actually tank attacks. Yes. And King Michaelis, I am a little worried because he might get attacked by. Don't uh, push me. Don't push me. Get attacked by a by ranged units. So I'm just gonna leave him here as well for the time being. And him and his dear little sister will move in on the HQ together with my bomber units. So, right now my bomber units is under threat by that horrible Lilina. So I have no choice but to pull her back for the time being. May this new year? We'll just have to hope yes. that Eastern Standard Time can take on attacks. Oh, we, can, so you know, we can take down this at the very least. I'm a little worried about Lilina. Fortunately, we won't have to worry about Amelia hitting her, so maybe this is what I'll do. I'll use this chance to take down Erika. That way, none of her buffs will get onto the enemy. Alright, so now I, all I have to do is deal with Lena. Hector is too far away to do anything, so we will leave it at that. And now we got a new flyer unit, Cordelia. Oh, oh 28 times 2, yeah, I'm not surviving that. Yeah, show him your Astra! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so, does Blonde Nino beat the living crap <laughs> out of Eastern Standard Time? That was kind of awkward, watching two large eyeballed lollies fight each other. And now, Corrin just got seismic tossed. But, Tropical Attack! And Lilina was brought brought away okay now we just need to have we just need to deal with her old man Hector but we also have reinforcements coming in so uh, I'm a little worried about what to do at the moment hey yeah yeah so I gotta say so see hot. Hector is really tough to destroy this is actually starting to worry me a lot you got it. so what do I do hmm yes Oh, well, it can bomb people to death, but... Orders. Minerva should be able to hit Gale Force. That could be useful. But man, this Blanino is not making things easy for me. Hmm... Yes. Understood. Okay. Always. Hmm... Understood. Oh, right, let's of try course. this. Oh wow. Oh wow, that, that's awkward. That's awkward. That's really, really awkward. Oh, so this is one of these situations where I have the six paths of pain plus to help me, but yes. my enemies this time are simply too strong. <laughs> Here comes that gale force. Yup. Orders. Oh, we can strike at their main camp. 
that might not be such a bad idea when I think about it, but... Hmm... I can launch two attacks. That might have to be what I do this All time. Right. I, I don't... I don't... I actually don't really like this, but I... I things given as they are, we should probably just launch a quick strike into their base. Attack! Best Bomber best. unit. Now Corin will strike at that spot once and then yes. twice. And now we just need to do one more attack to it and it will be brought down. Off I go. Unfortunately though, I have no answers for Hector. This is yes. really bothersome. Well, let's at least get Cordelia into the front lines. Hmm. Though Cordelia's Fire Sweep Lance is good against Hector, it won't do any good. Always. If only this of dude course. doesn't have Glimmer active and is sitting Always. on the base. Well, I guess we have no choice but to pull back for now. Oh, and here comes our next bomber unit, Witch Nowie. Oh. Unworthy. No, Minerva, no. Huh? To the beach. No. Unworthy to the beach. <laughs> no. And there was nothing I can do about it because that was all I could. Treat time. All right. Okay. All right. All right. We'll, 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 we'll settle the score. Easy now. We will settle the score. All right. Yes. Now, let's see, how do we defeat this, though? This thing that's chilling in this base. Perhaps we should just go and gather up a new location and get ready to uh, attack together. How many turns has it been? Eight. We should launch a Blitch Strike. Let me think. Yay! If only Yay! now we can move this turn, then now we could help attack Hector down there. Unfortunately, now we cannot right now. Hmm. Hmm. We also have to deal with the Reinhardt again. So things as they are, I have no choice but to wait and see what happens. Hmm. Understood. Hmm. Flying, you know, might be able to take a hit. Might just be able to take one hit from this. Hmm. We're gonna have to count on Flying Nino to take a hit. Easy now. Yeah. Off I right, go. Let's go. Let's transport Understood. our final attack units over. We have to wrap this up soon because the time limit is not exactly what we call friendly. And we'll definitely need to get Air Jura out of there. So the best way to do it is do this. Yup. Thank you so much, Flying Nino. You saved me. All right. This next turn is going to be integral. Whoop. Grima versus King Michaelis of Macedon. Damn it. Oh, too much bad breath. And now both the royalty has been destroyed. Now we have to deal with the Reinhard again. You will back down. And once again, just showering attacks on Flying Nino. Thankfully, Flying Nino is an incomparable tank and was able to tank through this. Alright, so now we have to launch a final attack on the enemy base. So we also got Florina here, which is very interesting. And Fly uh, Dragon Nino into this yes. action. So how shall we do this? Of course. Hmm. Lincia cannot defeat Robin. A bit of a problem there. Yay! I can go one more turn after this, but after that, I'm finished. Hector is over here at the current moment. And we have Mirth we could use. Hmm. Let me think. Let me think. Yes. Well, 
Cordelia can strike that down, okay. although Cordelia can also strike down Roy. This thing already has a skill charge, so we should probably get rid of him. Uh, and then we have the Reinhardt here, which is also a problem. Now we can strike down that, no problem. Now we can also one-shot Ike, which is also something I should look forward to. So, let's see. Always. It's a bit of a shame that Valencia cannot use Gale Force on one attack. Well, let's see, maybe she can if Roy doesn't Always. die instantly. But it would appear that Roy dies instantly. And, I mean, come on, look. Look at the of way she, she doubles. And, and it's just, just no way. Alright. Okay, we have to get rid of this thing first. There's no no way around this. Uh, we've defeated Grima yet again. Alright, Elincia can actually survive that. Alright, so we might actually be able to pull this off after all. Let's go! Yeah! I will defeat you! You will not! Ugh. Now Elincia taught Ike a painful lesson of Crimean justice. Always. Now how do we get down there? Oh That's God. a real problem here. <laughs> if only we could get down there. If only we could get down there. If only we could get down there. <laughs> Uh, maybe I don't know what to do right now. This is so awkward, like really awkward right now. I don't even. Hmm. <laughs> this is so awkward. <laughs> mm. Mm. All right. Let me think. Is there anyone else that way, um, could pull something off know. here? No more Wings of Mercy besides me. Oh no. I've gotta find some way to get Elincia over there. Why do you have reposition? Why not why do you not have smite? Why? <laughs> I mean I can get her down there to kill Shershi, but that would be the end of it. So Things as they are. We have no choice but to slaughter all the enemies in the area. So let's see. We can defeat that. We can defeat Roy. Mm -hmm. This Hector is giving me such brain damage here. What next? Florina would be very nice if we can just um, get her over. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Let's see. I suppose I have no choice in the matter. We have to do it like this. Attack. Now, damage tests have concluded. We have to Best use this. Wishes. We have to get rid of this Hector immediately. May this new year give you four wonder. Wonder involving killing Hector in a single shot. <gasps> Go, Witch Nowie! Alright, alright. Now we can strike down this camp. God, this battle has become a slog. I'm not pleased by this. Flying Nino! Alright, Flying Nino destroyed Reinhardt as the last White Wing remaining. Yes. She has much to do. Yes. And now, we can get Dragon Nino to fight Blonde Nino. It'll be the battle of the century, but she's not going to be the one who attacks first. What next? And what next is Florina sitting here providing wonderful... Spur Dev and Res to Dragon Nino. This is the first time ever I've used Florina, so her voice definitely sings to me. Yeah, right, let's go. Dragon Nino versus Blonde Nino. Yeah! <laughs> There's nothing more funnier than watching two lollies beat the living crap out of each other. Okay, all right. So the situation as it stands, we have a bit of a problem here with oh Purry sitting there. Purry has a lot of res, so Treat time. Now the only thing I need to do right now is to defeat an enemy, defeat two enemies. We have to defeat this, and then we have to defeat Purry. 
Once we do that, we can drop Yay! Naoi over here to strike at their main camp. And that will be our final move. So let's see. Of course. How do we pull off such yes. a feat? Always. Hmm. Off I go. Okay. Well, I suppose we can use flyer formation with this to try to um, enter the enemy base. Hmm. But the real problem is, honestly, Purry. And right now, Elincia might not be able to survive Always. a second attack. So she might need a dance. Hmm. What next? That way. Understood. Why do you both not have reposition? Yeah. Why? Alright, okay, Let's luckily go. for us, Shana does have reposition. So we're oh gonna get no. Elincia out of the way. Strike down perhaps two targets, and then we'll see where we can go from there. Because that's honestly the last moves we have in this. So I have to plan this out accordingly. So destroy Robin, and then launch another attack to try to take down Puri. Puri's on a defense platform, so she might not be able Off to take down. 26, 30, 32... But it is a brave attack, and 20% defense should not be enough to defend against this. Oh, but then again, what am I saying? She, she needs a dance in order to attack again. But if she does, she can clear out quite a bit. Oh, this is, this is a terrible dilemma. But all right, let's give it a try. Elincia, strike! Defeat Grima once more! Alright, Grima has been defeated. Of course. And now, go! Elincia, attack again! Is full of hey, you're new, you're just full of wonder. You can take down Purry! Yes! Take it down! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Gale Force activated! And now Naoi is no longer needed to strike down the camp. Oh, yes, I have secured victory. Yes? Oh, my yes. God, this was quite a battle. This was not um, the way it went. I wish I it. It, it, it went, but you know what? It's done. But let's go and kill Shershi for no reason besides... Yeah! yeah! Okay, all right. I really wish I can showcase yes. Florina fighting, but unfortunately yes. we're running out of time. Yeah. Next battle, though, perhaps I will do Always. such a thing. But for now, Elincia, I need you to do this. Yep. Alright, and with that, King Michaelis of Macedon and the Macedonian Air Force have claimed victory. The battle became a bit of a slog, but I managed to get full score, and it was actually kind of fun. Alright, now let's go and introduce our friends a little bit before we move on well oh, and look thanks to thanks to um king michaelis we were able to secure a lot of points in the air surrounding areas so uh, in a little bit hopefully someone else can pick up the slack because unfortunately the crest limitation is a little too much for um grand conquest so a guy can only play much in the first round and then never be able to play again it, which is kind of silly but, well, what can we do? Anyway, so before we go, let me introduce some of the people in this brigade. So wonderful. King Michaelis of Macedon by the Betrayer. And then there is Minerva by Air Raid. And you know what? This is brilliantly built with Houtaclair and uh, Gale Force and Heavy Blade. You can become a really serious sweeper with this setup. And then there is Paula. I think she would have performed better if she didn't have to fight Puri before. I think if she stayed in the battle for a bit, she would have been a serious threat, considering that she, her attack power is actually quite high, thanks to Wotao. And then there is the wonderful Flying Nino by Catriaz. Catriaz! <laughs> Who can tank just about anything. She's a violent beast, and I greatly enjoyed using her 
that would be the same way I would have built my flying Nino as well. Oh yeah, and Paula is by fall gaze, just in case. And then there is Scubulus' Eastern Standard Time. Well, Eastern Standard Time this time didn't get to do too much because she lost the lolly battle to Blanino. Like, I'm just looking at two huge eyed lollies beat each other to death. That is very amusing. But unfortunately, well, color disadvantage caused her downfall. But her Astra would have been very powerful, you know, if it was hitting something that was neutral or weak against it. But this is exactly why I prefer something like Dragon Fang or, or for in her case, probably Glacies. Because then she would have been able to do chunks of damage to Blanino. That is why I don't really like Astra, because Astra you either do too much or do too little. Anyway, Resploy as it is did quite a bit of work, so I kind of enjoy that, even though it doesn't really benefit Eastern Standard Time herself all that much. She managed to pull her weight by allowing the Bomber Squadron to do their job. And then there is my own Flyjura, built to set up to support Flyers. Maybe one day I'll plus 10 her in a legendary banner or something. After all, I got plus 10 my Guntra. Then there is my Bomber Corin. Well, as you've seen her perform, meh! Then there is Spring Bubasaurus Rex Plated. Well, this one has a lot of defense, even with Life and Death 3, and she, well, has Heavy Blade 3 to instigate deadly bonfire on the enemy. And then there is our MVP for this battle, Elincia. So Elincia without brain damage is actually pretty decent looking, even though she doesn't look anything like that she's supposed to look, but that's how it is. Anyway, she does chunks of damage, and her immediate Gale Force special really helped out. If only she could get her Gale Force to like four to four charge, that would be really nice. That's where Minerva is stronger than her in, in that regard. However, she did perform brilliantly in that battle. So, well, I can't complain. Alright, and now we have Cordelia. Didn't get to use her too much either, but she did bring down the Grima, the enemy captain. And because of that, we have to praise her, because if it wasn't for Fire Sleep Lands, that vantage on Grima would have wiped us out. That said, I guess you can see the name up there, so I don't really need to say who they belong to. Then there is Nawi. Nawi was really helpful at the very end. Destroying that Hector was definitely key to <laughs> our supremacy there, because killing that Hector, open up that base, allowing me to move my units around. Of course, she also killed a whole bunch of units as well, so I wish that I would have put her into use more. But, I, you know, I, I had to lead with the White Wings and and King Michaelis and his little, and little sister. It was important. I had to do that. So I had to wait until they die in order to get units in. Units such as Dragon Nino, who performed very nicely as a wonderful, wonderful tank, counter tank destroying Blanino in battle. And then there is Florina. Florina is very nice, using a wonderful spoon to feed people death and destruction. Too bad I didn't get to use her much, but hey, at least that Spur, Death, and Res helped out Dragonino, am I right? <laughs> and then there is Shana. Shana would have also been very, very good as a um, magic tank. Not as good as Flying Nino, but definitely much, much more deadly with Slaying Lance and Iceberg. So Steven Stone has a really good setup there. Al-Qaeda, if, if she had shown up, would have done some serious damage with that Wing Sword Fury Iceberg combo. And of course, she carries Death Boy, so she would have been able to help out in uh, with the uh, melee flyers. Then there is my own Hinoka. Well, she's there to go and provide, provide Hone Flyer support and to teleport people around. And then there is Boobasaurus Rex. Though I would prefer to use my own, once I get her to plus 10, I will show her off. But this one is still good, using wonderful death ploy on her high res to instigate some serious destruction on the enemy's dev, allowing her to hit harder as well. After all, her only real weakness is that her her skills are her stats are spread too thin, but if you change it around a little, you can actually do some decent chunks of damage. Slaying Axe and wonderful 
iceberg is actually quite deadly. Then there is also our very old Grima, though this one is a tank. So, uh, enemy face, I would prefer to be left with Dragon Nino. Though, I mean, Grima is a decent dragon. I prefer to use her as a dual face user. And then there are my placeholders. Later on, I hope to fill that with Claire and some other flyers. Hopefully, Ashnard. Oh my god, please.